Okay, here we are guys with Frank McDougan. Frank, you just saw X-Men Days of Future Past. What'd you think of it? You know what? I actually enjoyed the movie. I did. I really did. The movie was really good, but you, you, I think you have to forget some stuff. Sure. You have to let some things slide. And uh, and I, the fact that they didn't bring Rebecca Romaine back for this one, I, I'm a little disappointed in that. I wanted to see Jennifer Lawrence and Rebecca Romaine like side by side. Sure. But uh, doing dreams. what exactly? Do not come. What stuff? Becca Godzilla, big X Men fan, right? What did you think of this film? I really, really liked it. I think it was probably my favorite X Men film so far. I, I just love the fact that you can take so many different characters and mesh them together so well. Do you think this is a good movie compared to the comics? No, the comics are always better than the movies, but that's just okay. how I feel. But it's not bad. Punisher Maxwell Lord, are you a big fan of the X Men franchise? Yes, I am. I just sort of suppressed all the bad parts that were in X-Men 3, and I enjoyed sure. the film when I first saw it. Um, so you're a bit like Wolverine, your memory's been erased. Yeah. Is it a satisfying adaptation of Days of Future Past? It's, it's a different one, okay. uh, and, I, and it takes the elements. I, I think that, you know, I'm actually happy that it wasn't the same. Sure. I wanted it to be a little different, so. And what are some of the characters you liked in this movie? Oh, I loved Bishop. I want more of him. It, mm -hmm. You know, that's probably not going to happen. But I loved Blink. I loved her design. I loved everything about her. And I actually really, really liked Magneto. Michael Fassbender was really good, and I didn't like him in the first one. I Really? I wasn't a big fan of the actor, and he completely turned it around for me. What do you think about the fact that they take Wolverine, and they show how easily defeated he is by Magneto, send him to the bottom of a river, and basically just leave him there to die. Like, at that point, he no longer becomes the protagonist of the film. Do you agree? Yeah, I actually, I, I really dug what they did with Wolverine. They, okay. you know, they sent him back in time to where he had no adamantium yeah. claws sure. and was not this unstoppable rage monster. I don't think that he'll be able to be the protagonist of another movie, though. He'd be more like that... Really side man? Awesome sidekick. Yeah, which is what he's really supposed to be. I mean, I actually was worried at the end of the film that you'd find out that he's now running the school and it's the Jean Grey school, whatever they have now, and Jean it's Grey's next school. movie, Wolverine and the X-Men, right? I, I loved that comic, so I would not have an issue with that. Anyway, is this just a superhero movie or does this actually have a good story? It's got a pretty good story. Uh, I like when they, they go back to the 70s because um, it's kind of my era. Sure. And... Uh, now, it's the story. It's funny. It's witty. It's like a. It's a classic Marvel. Were there any moments in the movie that just made you furious as a big comic book reader? No, I've kind of really trying to just not let those things upset me too much. Sure. You know, it could lead to high blood pressure. <laughs> you get, you know, you not feel well. Okay. No, but there's there wasn't too much. There, I should always say that I found the future parts really uh, corny, cheesy compared yeah. to the other parts. Gotcha. I, I, I don't know what it was. Um, it just didn't seem like that was meshing. Okay, now you were sitting next to me. There was a couple times in the film you kind of, you kind of like I don't know if you're you're doing a head smack or whatever that's called. But what were those moments for you? Peter, aka Petro, aka Peter. That's weird. I don't know why they changed his name. Yeah. Just odd. Good point. I was like, who's Peter? Like Colossus? Yeah, you're right. I guess he can't be a gypsy, right? Yeah. He lives in America now. Did you like the actor that played Quicksilver? I went into it making fun of the whole thing. I thought he looked cheesy. I thought mm -hmm. it was going to be terrible. And besides the really crummy backstory and, oh, my dad might be Magneto, LOL. My mom knew someone that could do that once. Whoa, look out. Yeah, cut off my sentence. Besides yeah. that, yeah, yeah. I loved him. I thought he mm -hmm. was so fun and interesting. And I was laughing at all his jokes. None of them seemed forced. You're right. His jokes were natural. It's almost like they were ad-lib. Maybe they weren't ad-lib, but the actor was great. He felt like a 19-year-old boy who yeah. could steal things because he can go super yep. fast. I think Magneto was a real badass, lifting up a whole stadium. That was crazy. And he just felt like a classic Magneto villain. He's just mad and angry. One more question, Becca. I know that you're a big fan of the Spider-Man soundtrack. Are you going to buy the X-Men soundtrack? It wasn't as memorable for me. It was a good soundtrack for the movie, but I was way more into the what was going on than the music in the movie. Here's my imitation of every movie soundtrack now. Bah! Bah! When you get to the end of the story, do you feel satisfied with how they ended it? Kind of not really, no. Really? Um, I, there's a lot of characters that came, they brought back. The timelines, it's just weird. Like I said, you have to forget a lot of things, and the things should have happened but didn't because of the going back and changing the future. I understand that's what they do, but it's still kind of uh, it, it kind of pissed me off seeing some, some of the characters came back to life that really I don't think they would have. 
like sure. in real life. This franchise now goes back 15 years. It's the only superhero franchise that has not been rebooted until now, and it's been completely rebooted. What do you think of the ending of this film that we just spoiled? <laughs> well, um, I don't know. It's weird. It's I don't know what they're going to do. Are they going to do another future X-Men where you, we have Logan, Jean Grey, Cyclops, everybody who died in the old movies are back, um, or are we going to have more of the 70s cast and getting into, you know, shenanigans there? That's a good question. In comparison to the other six X-Men movies, how do you rate this one? This is probably one of the best. So in the end, what's better, the superhero comics or the superhero movies? Well, the comics, superhero comics, come on. Quicksilver, when he puts the music on and starts running around the room, that could have been the best sequence in the whole movie. What do you think? Okay, yeah, that was really cool. It was really I think, cool. I also thought, like, yeah. he would have had to have had that music playing super fast. Yeah. yeah. Good point, good yeah. point. DC is falling behind. Marvel has now done the speedster. DC cannot beat what they've done with Quicksilver. When DC does the Flash, good luck, DC. You guys have got to get your shit together. So I'm super sad that a bunch of people are just dead now. They're all dead. Sorry, in a few years, they'll just reboot the whole thing and then yeah. start over with new origins. But you can it's still, it, it's like it hits that ceiling, though. Marvel movies, they need to break through, they need to become really good. This still isn't a great movie, it's just a good movie. They gotta raise the roof.